Oh, bones are amazing. I mean, you can't. You can read all you want to read about bones, but you just you have to you have to fish for them. I mean, the minute you hook up with them, I mean, I've broken, you know, two liters and you know been smashed to bits by by bones, and you know, I just would not have believed it. I I actually told people back home that all all the hype about bones is nothing but but bullshit. <laughs> it's just all hype. But I mean, I have to take it all back. I'm sorry. <laughs> the minute they take off, it's like it's like hooking a tuna and you're in three inches of water. It's, it's just completely crazy. And anything you do wrong will, will go wrong. You can hook it around your fingers, you can snap it off, you can just, yeah. It's just nuts. And you've only caught one. I know. <laughs> Tail him. Oh. <laughs> I got it. The boats, you know, they're the only way out here. There's no planes or anything. So if you want to come here, you've got to come by boat. Simple as that. Yeah, I used to come out here by myself, you know, just come to an isolated island, camp out, sleep under a bit of plastic, drink coconuts. But uh, it was pretty hard back in those days. I'll bring mates now, as long as they can cook. Yeah, four days at sea is not easy, you know. Like, it might sound romantic travelling between tropical islands, but four days a long time, and uh, some of those steams are six, seven hours between the islands, so it um, quickly loses its appeal. Good old Nick, eh? He's brought us to um, this atoll. It's about 10 times the size of Singapore and he's found the most god-forsaken coral sandbank on the whole place with two trees. The tent won't hold because there's nothing for the pigs to hold into. We've got about two litres of water. So I'm calling this um, Hotel Raygart. bones here, but typical story there, they're big, they live right around these uh, coral bombies and they're just almost impossible to stop. And there's just so much variety here that, you know, once, once you've conquered one species, you've got to move on to the next. I've fished around the world and I reckon French Polynesia probably has the best big bonefish fishing in the world. When you come away to the islands there's, there's something that makes it very very special and it's actually the people. I mean they have something that I think we've lost in our Western societies. They don't seem to have the stress and anxiety. They're always laughing, the music's always going. You've always got kids following you around, you know, the, the mandatory three or four dogs. And it, it, it reminds me a little bit of how I was brought up in New Zealand and something that maybe we're losing with urbanisation is, is just a feeling of community and, and having fun and not taking life too seriously.